What's going on YouTube, Jeans here, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be showcasing a speed boost Blaziken team for Regulation F. Now, just like all the Gen 3 starters, Blaziken is absolutely amazing. Typing wise, design wise, and stat wise. This Pokemon can hit like a truck, and it has great speed with a phenomenal ability. We already mentioned it has a speed boost ability, so at the end of every single turn, this ability will allow us to go plus one on speed. So if any Pokemon outspeeds us, we can just pop a protect, take that turn in and then get a speed boost at the end of it, making us probably outspeed the next Pokemon. Another move that we have on this Blaziken that's gonna make it really viable is going to be Sword Dance. If we can pop a Sword Dance, we're gonna go plus two and pair that up with the ability, we will eventually get that plus one speed boost and just go from there. Another Pokemon that we have that's gonna help out Blaziken is going to be Smeargle. Follow Me is gonna help redirect moves while Blaziken set up, and then from there, it's pretty much just Sweep City. Blaziken's got Temper Flare, Close Combat for two big time stab moves, and then the other two moves like we mentioned is Sword Stance and Protect. It's got Dragon Terror type and a Focus Sash to help it soak up some shots. On to our second Pokemon, another Pokemon that we haven't showcased in Regulation F yet, it is gonna be Smeargle. Like we already mentioned, it has Follow Me, but it's also rocking Spore, Ruination, and Trick to hand off its Choice Scarf item. It's got Moody as its ability, and then a good old Ghost Terror type on this Pokemon. The other four Pokemon on this team consist of strong regulation E Pokemon that are just gonna make this team strong all around. We got Fluttermane and Iron Hands, and then we got Ogre Pond and King Gambit. Like I said, very strong Pokemon, really can't go wrong with them in the competitive scene right now. Guys, you wanna rent this team for yourself? I got the rental code in the top right hand corner. If you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss out on any of my content. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one. Gotta give a huge shout out to the team creator, goes by the name of J-Man, found this team on Twitter, I will be leaving a link down in the description below to their pages and to the Pokebase, so if you guys want to check out the Pokebase, check out all the EVs, IVs, all that good stuff on these Pokemon, make sure you head down the link in the description below. But we're hopping into our first match, we're going up against Murkrow, and Murkrow is one of those prankster Pokemon that was actually really strong back in like season one and season two when this game first came out, but you just don't see it that much anymore considering that Whimscott's in the game and Tornadus made its debut in the competitive scene. They also got Fluttermane, they got Chiyu, Ogre Pond, Archiludon, who is actually ridiculously strong if built right, and then last but not least, they got Walking Wake. So from here, I think a solid lead for us could be Smeargle. I could hand off the Choice Scarf and kind of go from there, or I could just go into Blaziken. I could go into Smeargle Blaziken, maybe try to set up that Sword Dance, it is definitely a possibility. I don't really like the Dragon Terror type on it, considering like fairy moves still hit me pretty hard. But I kind of just want to go into Blaziken here. Do I go Blaze? Or we can bring Blaziken in as a back end. And I kind of like Blaziken coming in as a back end Pokemon. So from here, I'm going to end up leading Iron Hands because I believe you have Heavy Slam, right? Yeah, you do. And you can fake out. And I'm also going to lead maybe Fluttermane here. I think Fluttermane could be solid. Or I could just go Ogre Pond. No, we're going to go uh, Fluttermane here. I'm going to go Fluttermane. I'm going to go Iron Hands. I'm going to bring Blaziken in the back end alongside with King Gambit. That's Sword Stance on you. Actually, let's go Ogre Pond. I feel like we can get a bit more value out of Ogre Pond. Plus, if that Stamina Arch Ludon starts to get rolling, we do have a move, Ivy Cudgel, that has a high chance of critting. So that can definitely help us out in the late game. But Blaziken. I'm ready to go, yo. I've been showing off a lot of starters. I actually got a ton of starters left to do, but got a few other Pokemon that I want to showcase before we get into the next starters. But Blaziken's here today. And they're going to end up bleeding Fluttermane alongside with Arch Ludon. Now, like I said, Arch Ludon's just a scary little Pokemon. It really is. Just a scary little Pokemon. It has Flash Cannon. It has all that good stuff. And I might just want to swap it. I definitely want to go into a Heavy Slam into this slot instead of faking out. And from here, I might just protect you, right? I might just protect Fluttermane, see how this one plays out. Or I could hard swap into like Blaziken here. But no, nah, I'm just going to protect. I really don't want to take that much damage. Actually, I am booster energy here. I am booster energy. Is that speed? It is. So you know what? Instead of going for Heavy Slam there, let's just fake out this slot. Just so they can't turn. Mm. Actually, we don't want to proc that. You know, we're just going to stick with what we got. We're going to go Heavy Slam here. And then just protect you. I was going to say, we could Shadow Ball. But they end up swapping out anyway. I was going to Shadow Ball that slot and then fake out the other slot. But we're just dropping Heavy Slam in this slot. And Mercury's going to be able to soak that pretty well. So Protect comes out from Fluttermane. They're probably trying to just set up Arch Ludon, right? Hopefully they're just going for a Flash Cannon. And they are. So that's good for us. So Flash Cannon tries popping out here. I could swap into Blaziken if I want to. And really start to get after it. But Heavy Slam's going to get cooking. And bring Mercury down to low HP. 
So from here, I'm just gonna drop a Drain Punch. And I think my best bet would be maybe just Icy Wind. I mean, Flash Cannon's gonna do some damage. Do I swap an Ogre Pond? I think we swap an Ogre Pond and we leave this, uh, we leave this Murkrow on the field for a little bit. So I'm gonna save my Fluttermane, swap it out. We now got Fluttermane and Blaziken in the back end, which are two amazing Pokemon for back end. We're gonna bring out Ogre Pond. Tailwind's gonna get set up. We kind of seen that coming. And chances are another Flash Cannon's gonna drop here. Flash Cannon, you are. The Ogre Pond's gonna say, yo, that's a tasty snack. Eat that up all day. Beautiful. Of course I get a special defense drop, which is kind of annoying. And Drain Punch is gonna get cooking here. Doing a good chunk of damage. A big time chunk of damage. He gets that defensive boost on stamina, and I just think doubling down into you is just the right call at this point. Right, just doubling down, or I could spiky shield. I could indeed spiky shield. Or I could just Ivy Cudgel and get rid of you. I'm just gonna spiky shield, to be honest. I'm just gonna spiky shield. Archer Loot on my protect, so I'm, I'm just gonna protect this turn. And just waste out some Tailwind turns, right? The more Tailwind turns I waste out, the better my back end Pokemon will be. So I can just protect and end it. Then just outspeed everybody. So he's gonna end up withdrawing the Murkrow. Going back into the Fluttermane? There's a possibility. It for sure is a possibility. And they are. So I might just Terrasilize next turn. And try to dump on that with a Heavy Slam. We'll see. He ends up going for a Draco Meteor. We Spiky Shield it. Beautiful. And can Drain Punch finish this thing off? With it being plus one on defense? I don't think it can. Oh, it can. That's massive. Iron Hands. Being a dog here. Being an absolute dog. Being an absolute dog. So big time KO for us. They still have Murkrow. They still have another Pokemon. And obviously, they're still rocking Fluttermane here. So to be honest, do I save Tower type Or do I Terrasilize the what's called here? Oh, you're going to come out here. You're a little annoying. You might follow me here. But do I just Terrasilize in straight water? I could. Just go Drain Punch. Yeah, it's going to be my play. And if I can pull off a power whip, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. So we're gonna terrasize our iron hands here. They're gonna start attacking me. And chances are, I think they're going for a follow me to dodge a heavy slam. And probably whatever Fluttermane wants to do. Just get off big time damage. That's why I went to the drain punch and attack the Ogre Pond slot. Yep, there it is. That's a simple read. That's a simple read for jeans. Come on, man. Real simple. Real simple read for me. He ends up going for the moon blast. We soak that all day. And Power Whip's gonna get cooking here. Doing big time damage. Drain Punch should honestly finish this one off. And it does. It does. Massive. Massive match number one. I'm kind of upset because we haven't really used Blaziken. We have not really used Blaziken. It's very upsetting. <laughs> it's very upsetting. No Blaziken here. No Blaziken or Smeargle in match number one. Match number two and three. We definitely gotta get rocking out with them, right? 100%. I thought maybe our opponent would start KOing us, but we're, we're just sweeping here. We're just sweeping here. Now we want a heavy slam. Now we just want to go for an Ivy Cudgel, but I think they cancel match, right? You don't cancel match? It sure seems like it. It sure seems like it. Wow, big time match for us. Big time plays for us. Fluttermane and Iron Hands just absolutely killing it for us. Absolutely killing it. Did I, wait, did I lead Fluttermane? I did, but I think I, I swapped it, didn't I? Yeah, I protected and I swapped into Ogre Pond. They end up just terrasilizing in the fairy. That's fine. Unless Mercury goes foul play and you go into a moon blast in the iron hand slot. No, you just go for a dazzling gleam. No, my Pokemon still soak that, right? No, Ogre Pond actually dies out. Ouch. Ogre Pond dying out, but Fluttermane's gonna die here, right? Because this is a KO on me. Yeah, no shot. So Fluttermane's a goner. We're gonna be able to bring out Blaziken last second here. And kinda just go from there. So pretty simple match, just thriving out with regulation e Pokemon. Kind of upset, like I said, didn't really bring out Blaziken. But I get to bring it out here and just to see its animation. But I promise you guys, in match number two and match number three, we're going to be using Blaziken a whole lot. So throwing out Blaziken here. I want to use it as a back-end Pokemon in this battle, but I guess not. But from here, a nice little wild charge, and we could go for a nice little temper flare. Nice, lovely temper flare, so... Going for it, and again, they just canceled the battle. Match number two on its way. Time to showcase Blaziken and just get absolutely ripping with this Pokemon. I'm thinking of leading it. Let's see who they're rocking with. 
They got Golden Go, they got Talonflame, who's a very good Pokemon, and then alongside with Talonflame, the Rock and Shift Tree, Wind Rider Shift Tree, and then uh, Gargonackle. What's that Pokemon called? Sandy Shocks and Drifloon. So Blaziken, I'm going to end up leading this Pokemon. I like it for the lead. I think it's such a good Pokemon. And for our second Pokemon, I could maybe just go Smeargle here. Smeargle is not too shabby. Not too shabby because I could put Pokemon to sleep early on here. I could definitely put Pokemon to sleep early on here. But a lead that I think they're going to do could potentially be Talonflame and Shiftry. And at that point, that could be a little bit of a problem. So you know what? I'm going to go Iron Hands here. I'm going to go Blaziken. I'm going to lead a nice little fake out user. So in the back end, I'm going to go King Gambit because Sucker Punch could be really good for us. And then last but not least, either Ogre Pond or Fluttermane. And I'm kind of leaning towards Ogre Pond here just so we can deal with uh, Talonflame and Gargle Knackle. And I think that's our best bet. Plus, it has Follow Me. Always such a good move. Always such a good move. So looking to use Blaziken here in match number two. And I think we should be fine with it. I think we should be fine. Like I said, tried using it as a back end Pokemon because it's really good in the back end as like a late game sweeper, but did not really work out considering we just dominated the first match. But they're going to end up leading Talonflame and Shift Tree. This is exactly who I thought they were going to lead. And I get out both of these guys. So from here, they could drop a Raid Bird into me. Um, I don't think they are. I'm going to set up a Sword Dance and I'm just going to rip a fake out here into Shift Tree. Actually, he might be able to fake out before me. Ooh. Oh, you know what? You know what? We're just gonna go protect on Blaziken. We're gonna get to get the speed boost. And I'm gonna go for a wild charge. I'm just gonna go. Mm. Do we think he's Cobra Cloak? There's a chance you are Cobra Cloak. You know what? Let's just do this. Let's go for the Sword Dance. Actually, we'll save our Focus Ash. We'll protect, and we're just gonna go for a wild charge here. I think they fake out the Blaziken, right? Their fake out comes out first. Their fake out comes out first. So he is going to fake out the Blaziken. We're going to hope that this thing's not Cobra Cloak. Because at this point, we can just fake it out and make it flinch. You're t oh, you have Gale Wings. You're going first. That's upsetting. I should have just went for Wild Charge. Wind Rider gets boosted. Definitely a scary scene right there. The Wild Charge gets cooking. Doing some big time damage. We're not playing around with that damage. Oh, I went for Wild Charge. Okay, never mind. I thought I went for Fake Out for some reason. But that actually works perfectly. Actually works perfectly. Bring that thing down to Focus Ash. He's probably going to try to Brave Bird into me. And at this point, I just go for Tempers Flare, right? Yeah, Terrasalize Tempers Flare. Yeah, I'm cool with that. No Sword Dance needed. No Sword Dance needed. Now, what Pokemon do you have in the back end? You have Gargonackle. You have Sandy Shocks. Are you going to swap into any of them? Probably not. I'm just going to stick with a Drain Punch. And I'm going to throw it into the Town from side. Just in case he wants to swap. So I'm going to terrestrialize into a lovely little dragon. Reason being, I do not want to take a flying move straight to the chest and just die. Well, I have focus ash, but still, I want to be able to soak up some shots. The dragon tire type going to come out for us. Blaziken ready to rock. Ready to go. There's the brave bird. That's exactly why we terrestrialize. And it's still doing a huge chunk of damage. He's going to die to recoil. And drain punch is actually going to slide over. So let's see what shift tree does. He's just going to go for a leaf blade. We soak that up all day. And Blaziken is just going to rip into this thing right here. So Temper Flare coming out here. Bang. See you later, Shiftry. My man Blaziken. So now Blaziken's going to be plus two in speed, matching the Tailwind speed. And I believe if we just protect this turn, we will go up in speed next turn. We will be faster than the turn after. But depending on who they bring out here, will really determine a lot. Gargle Knackle? Okay. I think we, we outspeed that right now, which is great. And Golden Go. That's fine. I mean, I have King Gambit in the back end. So I think from here, we're just going to protect. Could go for Temper Flare, but again, Protect is just a smart play. So Protect here. Try to go for a Drain Punch. Get back some HP in the Gargle. But chances are, they just KO my Iron Hands. Which is no big deal. It really is not, not a big deal at all. Because I believe we're going to force them to Terrasalize here. But they don't. That is surprising. I think they would like Terrasalize the Gargle Neck or something. No, they're just going to Protect it. I think it's a ghost terror type, right? Probably, right? And he goes for a power gem, so... I block that. And he blocks my drain punch. Okay, so from here, Blaziken now outspeeds. Who are we worrying about? I'm more so worrying about Blaziken here, right? Or not Blaziken, a Golden Go. So I'm thinking of just dropping a Tempers Flare. 
probably my best bet, and then just sticking with a Drain Punch here. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So Temper Flare comes out here, doing some big time damage, just dumping on gold to go. And Blaze King thriving out here in match number two. No Sword Dance needed. It's just doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Salt here comes out here, and that's pretty much just gonna solidify this match, right? Unless you Terrasalize into Ghost. Unless you Terrasalize into Ghost. They really got a crit with Salt here. That's kind of funny. Brain Punch comes out here, halves HP, and gives Iron Hand a bunch of HP back. This is gonna be another sweep. This is gonna be another sweep. This is amazing. This is gonna be another sweep. He's gonna protect this turn, so maybe I should set up Sword Dance, but there's really no point, right? There's really no point. But honestly, I think what we should do is go into a Tempers Flare. And the reason I say that is, just in case it Terrasalize into Ghost, we don't want to go into two fighting moves. Right? It's just not worth it. And no, they just cancel battle. We got two sweeps right now. Blaze King killing it in match number two. Final match on its way. Looking for a 3-0 perfect record. Absolutely been killing it on the casual ladder day. First match sweeping, second match sweeping. And now we're going up against a crazy cool team. Big props for our opponent for actually using this, but they got Breloom, also rocking out with Copper Raja, Fortress, Toxtricity, regular Gudra, and last but not least, they got Annihilate. So for our lead, I definitely want to get out Blaziken here. I'm going to lead Blaziken, and I'm going to use Smeargle. Haven't used Smeargle in today's video yet, so I am ready to rock out with this thing. Smeargle, Blaziken, and then as back in Pokemon, honestly, Fluttermane is okay here. It's super effective onto a few, but then the Steel type Pokemon really overpower us. So I think from here, we're just going to go Iron Hands alongside with Ogre Pond. Not bad. Not bad at all. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look for that 3-0 perfect record using Speed Boost Blaziken. But that last match, Speed Boost Blaziken was just lighting up. We didn't even need to set up Swords Dance and a bunch of Pokemon that we could just one-shot. We dropped the Tempers Flare left and right. KO and Pokemon, no problem. But Speed Boost is just so good. Anytime I need Speed, just a little Protect. Next turn, I'm getting it all day. But they end up leading Fortress and Toxtricity. And I'm thinking of just setting up a sword stance here to be honest and maybe just following or sporing this toxicity and you know what i'm gonna spore the toxicity we have to choose scarf i could put that thing to sleep no problem i could put that thing to sleep the only problem here is we would be choice scarfing ourselves into spore and then i could spore spam but i'm not that type of person so i'm just gonna probably swap them at that point but they end up terrasalizing into electric, looking to do as much damage as they possibly can. So from here, I am just going to drop a nice slow bit. Oh, he's going helping hand. That's big time, because Smeargle, again, shit out speed, just put the scene to sleep. My dude, my dude, Smeargle with a spore. Smeargle with a spore. So we get off the big time spore, we waste out both our turns. More importantly, the swords are dancing right now. The swords are dancing. Plus two on attack, and then on top of that, ability. Give me a little speed boost here. Give me a little speed boost. Oh, I forgot about Moody. Moody getting after it. Dropping a stat, raising a stat. Speed boost plays can come in after it. And look at these stats, baby. Look at these stats. Whew. God dang. God dang. Alright. Huh. From here... Could set up another sword dance, but I think I'm just dropping a Tempers Flare, right? You're going to be asleep. There's no way you wake up, right? There's no way you wake up. I'm going to go into Iron Hands here. I'm hard swapping Iron Hands. There's no way you get a one-turn sleep. I'm going to be upset if that's the case. I'm going to drop a Tempers Flare. I am going to swap into Iron Hands. And we'll see how this one plays out here. He ends up just withdrawing that Pokemon. So that's huge. That's huge for us going up against Fortress. He's going to go into Grimace. <laughs> Grimace. Yo, that's so funny. That's so funny. Temper Flare comes out here. Bang. Bring you down to Sash. Where are you sturdy? You're sturdy. Hey, this guy's sturdy. And he, I take Rocky Helmet damage? Ridiculous. Sets up a Reflect. How dare you? How dare you set up a Reflect? Not cool. Speed Boost comes out here. And honestly, honestly, let's set up another Swords Dance. And fake out the Gudra. So now that Reflects out... Kind of neglects a lot or negates a lot of our damage. So, to be honest, let's just set up this sword stance. They're going to go for another helping hand. Guja, you're just getting faked out. You're flinching this turn. Unless you're Cover Cloak, but I highly doubt it, right? Fake out coming in here. And you got Gooey? Alright, I'm kind of, I'm already slowing off. Sword stance coming out here. We boosting this attack again. Beautiful. Give me that attack boost. Plus two on attacks. So now we're plus four. 
And we get another speed boost. So Blaze can right roll. Ready to roll. Gonna go into close combat. Look to finish that thing off. And then uh just rock a drain punch in this slot, right? Yeah. I'm cool with that. Another helping hand is coming across the board. We are gonna lower our defense. So maybe we should have doubled down on the Guja. But I'm hoping close combat could just KO. And it does. Let's go. Speed boost Blaziken. Not playing around. Now we got plus three speed. Plus two attack. Oh no, now we're plus two speed. We got Gooey. Plus two speed, plus four attack, minus one defense, minus one special defense. The stat changes are just going absurd. They're just going absurd. But Blaziken, just an absolute unit. This thing's an absolute unit. So good. So good. I told you guys in the beginning, pairing up speed boost with Sword Dance, it's so strong once you get that cooking. So bringing in like a follow me Pokemon, which we have two of, or just a fake out user such as Iron Hands, just works out so well. It works out so well. So he's still asleep and he hasn't been asleep for a turn yet. So I'm going to say he is asleep this turn. I'm going to go right after that Annihilate. Doubling right down into that, right? Do that. And probably just Wild Charge, right? Yeah, it makes the most sense. Let's do it. Double right down to Annihilate. Attack that thing right now because chances are you're going to be asleep. And you protect. How dare you? How dare you? That's smart little protect. Smart little protect. So the Pokemon that we have in the back end is going to be Smeargle, which I can choose Scarf into any move I really want to. And we also have Ogre Pond. But the real question is, what do we do here? Do we just take out the Toxtricity with a close combat? I'm kind of leaning towards that because Ogre Pond can really have a lot of... Can be really strong up against Annihilate, but not really up against Toxtricity. So I still have Terra. I'm just going to stick with the wild charge into this slot, and I think close combat should be able to finish. If you land a double protect, come on now. <laughs> you land double protect, but we're going after this Toxtricity now. And I'm not KOing. Oh my lord. Through the reflect, Blaziken is just hitting like a truck. He's just hitting like a truck. And honestly, hold up. We might go 3-0 with three sweeps. I'm so good. I'm nasty. I'm nasty. Stay hot, jeans. Right? I haven't lost a Pokemon all day today. Not one. Not one, because we used Spore with Smeargle. Correct. Spore with Smeargle. And then we swapped it. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Absolutely laying it up today. But Temper Flare going to come out here. Double down with a Wild Charge. And I think Temper Flare is going to KO. The fuck's going on? Yes, sir. Yo, Blaziken is OP. He's not playing around. There you guys go. 3-0 and 3 sweeps in today's video. We got 3 wins for you guys today. And not just 3 wins, 3 sweeps. We did not lose 1 Pokemon today. And Blaziken was absolutely amazing. Pairing up Sword Sands with Speed Boost makes this Pokemon ridiculously strong. And like I said, you guys seen it firsthand in all 3 matches today. We used Smeargle in the third and final battle, but I definitely want to make another video showcasing Smeargle more so by itself. But this video was all about Blaziken, and I'm really glad I got the showcase for you guys. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.